Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner. 90 years old, official height 173 centimeter, official weight 59 kilogram. Professional record 13 wins, one by knockout, three losses. Estonian Muay Thai champion, Baltic kickboxing champion, European Clubs Cup Muay Thai champion, representing Condor Fight Club Estonia, Sigrid Determinator Company. Fighting out of the red corner, 23 years old, official height 170 centimeter, official weight 60 kilogram, professional record 5 wins, lost only one fight, Estonian kickboxing champion, Estonian Muay Thai Open champion, Estonian boxing champion, representing Kevin Reno Fight Sport Academy, Estonia, Astrid Johanna The winner of this fight will take a part in Grand Prix final match. Ring referee Rafael Spashaevas, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, a historic moment here. Our first of two semifinal matchups, and the winner will take home the KOK Bantamweight Championship. But not only are they going to have to win this one, but the next fight as well. The, whoever wins this one will have uh, two fights to rest. Kind of an advantage over their opponent who will only have one. Oh, she caught her good. Nice right hand that time from Grenz. That time she goes upstairs with a kick. And Kapanen trying to give it right back. Oh, man, a nice left hand that time. Grenz getting in some good work upstairs to the cranium early on. Boy, these two really going at it here. It's an interesting dynamic, as I mentioned uh, at the top of the broadcast here, of the second part, that we're guaranteed to have an Estonian in the finals. At the same time, these are two fighters that know each other and that have been in the ring before. Oh man, a blistering shot that time that landed right in the in the right side of the rib cage, just north of the liver, underneath where the elbow is. A cracking low kick. Grenz is on target here tonight. Holy cow. I really like the grit, though, of Sigrid Kapanen. That when she is, she's throwing these combinations, and when she's finishing with that low kick, you can tell that she really has that combination down. And if she can land that thing hard as she's throwing it a couple times, then it's going to do some damage. But right now, Grenz is having her way. Also got to remember that uh, we do have the potential uh, for another rematch if Kapanen wins. If Kapanen wins and Ilona Voida wins in the next semifinal, holy cow, then that'll be another rematch. We have had uh, a women's champion before here in KOK, but not in the bantamweight division. Nadezhda Kantir was the champion in the strawweight division. I'm sure everybody remembers her battles with Esma Hashas in Moldova. Those were some great fights, but uh, never before in the bantamweight division. Take a look at some highlights there from round one. I think Grenz takes round one. 
Uh, she landed the more powerful shots. She did more damage overall, I think. Uh, but still a ways to go. Still two more rounds, potentially, to be fulfilled here in our first semifinal matchup. By the way, the official weight limit for this tournament is 60 kilos. Fighters! Time! Fight! Second round! Three minutes on the clock here. Round number two underway. Oh boy, well the referee never said stop and so Grenz just kept on going. Nothing wrong with that. Protect yourself at all times is the name of the game. Low kick that time scores well from Kapanen. Stretching out downstairs with a jab. Oh boy, she ducked under that shot. Low kick lands. And again, Grant's not giving her any breathing room. Like, the girls are most often separating themselves. Uh, and there's nobody saying that you need to wait and, and reset. You don't need to hit the reset button when you're separating yourselves. It's, there's no stoppage to the fight. Now, in this kind of a situation, the referee needs to be a little bit quicker to step in there uh, and, and break up what's happening. Inside a minute already with about 50 seconds remaining here in round number two. Catches the leg again, and now she's really uh, risking it here because that's the second time in a row she did it, just clocked her with a right hand. Low kick scores as well. Good knee on the inside. Ooh, and a nice push kick. In my opinion, I think Kapana needs to really mix it up a little bit more here. She needs to get a lot more physical in there and maybe just fight fire with fire because that what Grenz is doing is working. of round two. Take a look at some highlights here from round number two. I've got a two rounds to zero in favor of Grenz. How do you guys have it scored at home? Keep in mind, both these ladies so young, and uh, even though they've both made uh, visible improvements and they're, they're getting better each and every time they step into the ring, they still have the best yet to come, I think. Kapanen just 19 years old, Grenz just 23. Fight! 
final round. Here we go, round number three here. Oh, Kapanen coming out strong here in round three. And I think that's what she needs to do here. She needs to step on the gas a little bit, get a little bit busier in there, uh, and, and really mix it up a little bit more. She keeps going by the same uh, game plan as in round one and, one and two. It's not going to go in her favor here. But she, oh boy, Rents is giving it back now. Now we've got ourselves a fight here. And that's, you know, she that was almost a third time there. Risking a, a point deduction, possibly. I know that both these ladies do have Muay Thai backgrounds, and so sometimes catching that leg like that is just second nature. Not under KOK rules, though. That doesn't fly over here. This is a much better round here for Kapanen. Keep in mind, folks, up next, the second semifinal. And then we will have uh, one more fight. Dimitri Varets against Ot Remmer. And then these ladies off to step back into the ring again, one of them, with the winner of the second semifinal. And feel the intensity starting to pick up. Boy, the left leg, the left thigh of uh, Kapanan is all red. It is just beat red from those low kicks uh, from Grenz. Look at behind the tattoo there. Her leg is just like chopped meat at this point. Whoa, and a big right hand that time from Grenz. Inside a minute now in the final round. Things have looked good for Kapanen in the early parts of the fight, but now Grenz is starting to, oh boy, ho oh, ho! Well, just as I spoke, Kapanen changing my mind once again. Both ladies have a lot of support in the crowd here. I can hear some encouragement coming for different fighters from all different parts of the arena here. So obviously this crowd very familiar with both of these ladies and cheering them, cheering on their favorite. Closing seconds now. It's a close round. And that'll do it. I don't know, I, I thought that was a good round for Kapanem, but Grenz also turned it up uh, after a, a rocky start in the beginning of the round, in my opinion. And I've still got it in favor of Grenz. And uh, I think that she's gonna punch her ticket to the finals, but we'll see. We'll see here. This is gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna find out here who moves on to the finals to face either Ilona Voida or Ludovica Chiarpaglini. To congratulate the fighters, I would like to invite the representative of company Cominsur, Dimitri Solanik. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series in Tallinn, Estonia. We are live. It was first Grand Prix semi-final fight. After three rounds by unanimous judge decision. The winner is and to Grand Prix final match goes. Red corner, Astrid Johanna Grant, Estonia. All right, so Astrid Johanna Grant 
will advance to the finals later tonight, but who will her opponent be? Will it be Alona Voida of Poland, or will it be Lodovica Chiarpaglini of Italy? We're going to find out because that fight is coming up next. Don't you dare miss it.